It's your boy Noto coming to you another video, coming to you another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, man, we're gonna talk about how men with money who are having trouble with women can learn from homosexuals. Guys, you can learn a lot of lessons from homosexuals, dudes that are using money to get women, and you still having trouble with women, bro. Like the the main thing is to find out. How you don't have to spend money. How you keep going through these same things that the homosexual doesn't have to go through. But the thing is, they spend so much time down in the homosexual. I know y'all know these guys. Y'all seen them make posts on social media and downing them, shaming homosexuals. And I'm not saying that is just go ahead on and don't try to make money for yourself. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or try to succeed in life or try to live like a homosexual. But the thing is, find out how they're doing what they're doing. Understand that. Understand what what is it about the homosexuals that the women like? Because apparently they're getting the women, but apparently you're not. And and unless it's under some type of terms that usually involve some type of transaction or you having to do something, you most likely gonna have to keep on handing out money just just for women to mess with you. But why do you feel like it's that way? And why do you feel like they don't have to do it? Is it is it the fact is it the fact that you're there jealous of the fact that the homosexuals don't have to spend money on the girl? In fact, the girls are spending money on the homosexual. In fact, how do you think I know that? Because I used to be a homosexual. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Let's just keep it real. I was that, the reason I put the Jody picture up here because he's like the like one of the best examples of a homosexual. So one of the best ones living with his mama. Got a girl that's crazy over him. Two, several girls crazy over him because of how he is. You know what I'm saying? Like how he is, the, 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 way, the way he carries himself, the way he do things. And then Yvette, the way, the way he responds to Yvette and the, when Yvette brought her to work. The fact that other chicks are trying, to, uh, are trying to get on him just because of Yvette. That's why you say that other women make other women want you. Just by having a woman, it makes other women want you, especially that they want to get a one up on or something like that. You see how that chick was trying to go behind Yvette back to smash with Jody. But getting back on the subject, why do you think that they're going so crazy about these guys? And those main dudes always talking, to, always talking to smack. Oh, he, he living with his mama. He he doing this. He can't he can't he can't afford to do that. Oh, he doing that. He, he can't drive. He ain't got no car. No, oh, he riding on the bicycle. Oh, he got to catch the bus to work and all that. But he's still smashing the girl that you want, and you still got to pay out of pocket. You still got to pay out your ass. You even get a chance from a girl, and you know damn well if you stop doing that, that they ain't gonna fuck with you. Come on, it's going to go on and go on and go on and admit that. And I know it's going to rub people the wrong way, but quietly, quite honestly, I do not give a motherfucker because the truth must be said. It is be said, and I know, and I know it's a fact because I've lived it. It's as plain and simple. I've lived it. Anybody want to call me cab? Okay, you can do that's fine. But I've lived it, and I know for a fact because I ain't have shit. I have nothing. But I was still smashing the same chicks that do spend a whole lot of money on. Not necessarily that. Not necessarily that saying that. Okay, that's the moment the key that you can just do that, and no women ain't gonna reject you or nothing like that, or just because you have the powers of the homosexual. But that doesn't mean that. Oh, you you can just it ain't no women that's gonna just take you out of whatever category of men that they want to mess with. But best believe they still they still turning something on because even the testiest women that have the highest status and all this other stuff. But shoot, let let them have a dudes cut in their yard that ain't got much. Let them let they, you know that little list they got of the man they want because most likely the homosexual isn't meant to be there for a long time. It's only there for a time. Remember this, guys. They're only there for a time. You're not thinking about no long term stuff like this. And the thing about it, think about it is a lot of this dude, lot of these dudes. They had the money right. And then since y'all talking about wanting to last long and with the woman and all this, I'm not talking about sexual. I'm talking about like want to have the, oh, the, the, uh, the man with the money always going to win. And we're going to outlast him because we can provide the resources and all that. But at the end of the day, most men are just trying to smash anyway. Y'all just trying to get the women to smash anyway. Y'all want the, so the short term thing. Y'all can just go in and smash and come back and not have to do any commitments and nothing that. 
And the homosexual got it good like that. They can do they can do that. They can, they can really control the situation in certain ways, even though they seem like they've been controlled, but it's they can really just bounce out of the situation. You know how? Because you can just leave it. You can't just leave it. And if you got the girl hung up enough, she gonna still fuck with you. And if she wanna leave, she wanna leave, but she gonna end up doubling back, especially if you didn't put it to her. Now, if you didn't really, really put it, put it, put the D down on her. Bro, she ain't really going nowhere, bro. She could talk all the shit she want, talk all that. Oh, he ain't shit, he ain't this and that. Yeah, they'll talk all the shit and under the under the sun, but they still want to smash this hobo sexual, and that is what make these men mad. But why keep getting mad? Learn from the hobo sexuals, guys. Learn from them. Learn why she wants him, and he don't, he don't, he don't have a car. Learn why she want him. She still want to have sex with him, even though his credit score ain't this. Learn why. She still want to do that, and know he even got his own place and he live with his mama. Learn why this man could be homeless, jumping from household to household, and she still want to smash him. Learn why she he want to move in with her and not even pay any bills, and she going to work every day, and she still want him there. Learn why. Instead of sitting there and trying to make shame tags and talking shit about these guys, they're the guys that y'all want to be. Maybe not, maybe not in the way they live in their life, in the way in 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 the position they are in life. But you want the you want the uh, you want the advantages. You wanna you wanna live the life that they're living. You wanna be able to do the things that they're doing. That is one of the lessons y'all can learn from a homosexual, guys. So if a lot of men with money, because it's crazy, because I was looking at Kevin Samuels another time ago. Uh, a couple uh, Like a day or two ago And he was talking about men That have a whole lot of money Having trouble with women And that is the truth I've had guys come Ask me about women Like in the club And I'm like I'm knowing this This guy is driving Well this drives Damn they're driving Some a Ferrari And all this other shit I know he got money He got The diamonds and jewels And shit Oh and I'm like Bro How the fuck And it, I can I can tell you Wasn't capping either He like was really like Timid as fuck Like just didn't didn't really, you know, you could tell he hiding behind the shit. That's that's what a lot of this shit really be. And I'm not really going. See, don't don't think that just because I'm making videos like this that I'm gunning with men with money. I don't have nothing against men with money. Get your paper. I ain't I ain't I ain't I ain't got nothing against a man getting his bag. But the problem I do have, the problem I do have is the man that gets the bag and trying to make it seem like they Mac Daddy Slim or whatever the fuck just because they're getting girls and they're using they're using the money to get the women. That's the shit that that's the shit that piss me off and make it seem like they like they the, the pimps of the century or some shit like that. Like and then trying to down dudes that ain't got nothing but slashing the same chicks. I'm, but the thing is they getting a the one up on you, to be honest, if you feel like you're getting a one up on them, how they get how you getting a one up on them if they ain't spending a dime and you and you spending a whole bunch of this shit taking on trips and taking out to eat. If you look at if you look at his tab and look at your tab, you you you've invested way more. He coming through and smashing. That's what you really want to do. But why? And let's let's really let's get down to that. Let's get down to that. Most of these guys are very unattractive. Let's just keep it. Let's keep it a buck. These guys are visually unattractive, and a lot of them are invisible, invisible to women without hiding behind the money. And that's no homo on that. That's 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 the real truth. That that's the real truth. A lot of them are out of shape. A lot of them don't don't want to want to maintain their looks. A lot of them don't want to hit the gym. A lot of them don't want to look physically appealing. That's what it is. Because when you see a lot of these guys that's talking a lot of this shit about dudes that ain't got much and, and all this other stuff, it's always that. They always fall under some new categories, and you can look at it and tell, like, yeah, this dude, he got to use money. He got to, he, he, be, he better be clean. He better be fly. He better, he, everything better be on point outside of that because he don't look the way, you, you know what I'm saying. And that's not just saying, okay, I'm just saying that trying to. Judge a dude because I'm not I'm not a dude and I'm not I'm, I'm not a female I can't tell what a female is like about a certain dude but if you can look at the overall picture and just make it like a some type of okay you can tell by one a lot of their behaviors that they be having and look at it and look at their demeanor okay damn you using oh you trying to flex you trying to you can tell what a dude's calling card is for trying to get women you can tell that because you, you can't hide that. You can't really hide that. A dude that's being flashy and trying to use money, you know they're trying to do that for the girls. You know they're trying to do that for the girls. Because mo- most likely, okay, they want the props from the homies, but that's about 30% of it. i say 20% of it. 80% of that shit, 85% above that is <laughs> for the women, guys. And you know it. Let's keep it a book. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real in here. That's one thing, that's one thing I'm going to do in this. We're going to keep it real. 
Guys, we gonna keep it real over here because there's a lot of people out here just trying to cap and be like, okay, yeah, man, women, women love resources. Women love, okay, of course they want man resources. Okay, of course they do. But but who they want long term and who they want to fuck are two whole different things. And that's what a lot of dudes do not want to fuck it. They do not want to admit that. They do not want to. They don't. They they do do not want to accept that. And the moment they finally accept that and then try to become the dude, see what it is about these homosexuals that they so-called, these so-called broke-ass motherfuckers getting these women are doing. Find out what, what it is. Once you get that, once I already told you that, work on your physical. See, that's, see that, that's not easy to do, though, at the same time. Get money. Okay, that's not really easy to do. It's easier to really work on your physical appearance and, and maintaining your looks and getting your best look and getting your best body than it is to attain money and status. But that's not a here or there because a lot of people get that before that. But a lot of people will get the money and status and then they feel like, oh, I don't have to do anything else, which is bullshit. Which is bullshit. You got to understand that. When you see these dudes that that want to want that want to talk that shit about the homosexuals, bro, and don't and don't want to step foot in the gym, don't want to do nothing, they all, bro, they so full, they really full of jealousy, bro. It's real, je- that's what the whole meat of it is. It's jealousy. That's what it is. The whole meat and potatoes of the whole plate right there. Jealousy, jealousy because they can't do what these dudes are doing. They cannot do what these dudes are doing. And they can't, for the life of them, figure out why these females want to still mess with this dude that ain't got nowhere near as much as he got. You see what I'm saying? You see how bad, how much that can piss somebody off? I got all this. I got all that. And I'm, I'm, I'm using my money. But you know what I'm saying? You, you feel like you up there. Like when you out there flexing, you feel like, okay, you turning heads or whatever because of what you're wearing and, and you're dripping and all that. But once you get, once you get past all that and figure out, okay... And look at the real meat of it. If that fee, bro, at the meat of it. The females that you deal with, most likely, and, and, and really, really look into this. Do you, if, if you could, if you can get, do you really think you get females without, without spending money on them? Without spending a dime? That's what they really, real problem is. And that's what really hurts them inside. That's what really bothers them. That they know that any females that they're dealing with, if they ain't providing no type of resources, they can't fuck with them. That, that, that's what it is. They can't they can't lay a they can't lay a thing on them. Ain't they ain't getting the time of day. Cause one, one, number one, most of them lead with the money anyway. Cause they already know they ain't looking shit in the in the in the little department and they they already know they ain't they ain't this physically. So that's what the first thing they gonna go on and go on and uh that's their calling card. Come on now, just go on and go on and admit it. Just go on and damn admit it. And it is what it is. I don't give a damn. I ain't pulling no punches. I know it's a. I know it's a fact. And I heard dudes say, "Oh, I bet, I bet she call. I bet she come when I call. She gonna miss out on this money. Why she gotta miss out on the money? What about you? That's what it's always about. So she gonna miss out. Girls like the ones. The dudes is always chanting that girls only want money and girls want money. It's the ones that always spending money on the girls. It's always that. When you look at it, you you look at that and you see a whole bunch of dudes that saying that. Look at that and look at a pattern. You are gonna notice a pattern. When you start coming across dudes that do that, you're going to notice a long pattern, bro. A, a very, a, and a very uh, familiar pattern at that because they very have, they have similarities. It's going to be a common denominator with all of them. And they're all envious. All of them are envious and they're all jealous and they all do not like the way they are at them of an, in and of themselves. They don't feel like a woman will like them as they are. And that's the truth. That's the truth. It is what it is. Anybody can try to debunk that, which I know is bullshit because they really can't. They can't. They be like, oh, my, my people. No, my people, This you're going to have to accept reality. You're going to have to accept reality. A lot of people that is not of y'all parents, a lot of a lot of uncles and all this other stuff that's with these women, you best believe they provide or they yeah, it's going to be up out of them. They're going to be up out of them. A lot of these dudes are tied up in marriages and paying out the ass just to keep the woman. And if they stop doing what they're doing, just so even a little bit, she gone. Ain't no damn well she gonna be gone. But let's not even get into that, cause that that's gonna really really hit him. Cause you, you you went way too deep at that point. But anyway, it's your boy Noto coming to another video, coming to another podcast, man. And I appreciate everybody. Get get a give your boy, give your boy a like. 
comment, and subscribe to your boy, man. And remember, man, anybody can improve themselves if they're willing to work at it, bro. I'm out. Thank you.